my maternal grandmother, I remember being like this fabulous storyteller. She was like Tallulah Bankhead. She always had a cigarette and she had this machine gun laugh, like, ha. Ah. And she played cards and, and she always had these great stories about like how she met my grandfather and, and even my paternal grandmother, who could be pretty intense, had great stories like that too. So we were a storytelling family and I realized that so many of those little things find their way into my work. One story that I realized made it into Diviners is that years ago I was visiting my paternal grandmother and she was at that stage of her life where she was trying to, you know, she just wanted to get rid of some things. And I loved going through all the family lore, like, you know, who are these people in this picture? And there were just tons of photographs. And there was a photograph of her in the 20s. And she was standing next to this, this sort of tall blonde flapper who was looking right at the camera like she was gonna eat that camera. Like, I just automatically I went, oh, there is a story there, who is this? I don't know this person. And so I, I asked my grandmother, I said, who is this? And she said, oh, that's Evangeline. And I think she said something like she was hot to trot or, you know, she was trouble. And my grand, I thought of my grandmother as being so kind of buttoned up that I thought, mm, well, I really want to know this story. And so she didn't tell me a whole lot, but I, I have that photograph. She said, you can have that photograph if you want it. And I thought, oh, yes. And I thought, I want to write about a character named Evangeline sometime because she seems really... Um, and I do remember there were a couple of stories about, you know, just like riding in cars with boys. Years after my grandmother died, my cousin sent me her diary from 1927. And of course, I was already working on Lair of Dreams, which is set in 1927. So it was wonderful to be able to, I mean, go through and just read her diary from that time and, you know, be stepping back into history and, and family history.